What's going on guys, it's me Shukashu, we are back with another Uma Musume video, and in this video we'll just be going over the new event along with the new banner characters, but before we go over that, I just want to go over the comments real quick before getting into all the other stuff, so first comment is from Nova Boy. oh I'm at the upcoming 2.5 anniversary, I actually need a lot better cards for my roster, being away for that long means I missed out on a lot, that is true, that is true. I have a maxed out Kita and Turbo Speed cards that I use for now. Okay, so those are two good cards, I would say, for runners. I think the reason I got to UF was because of my Umas are mostly 5-star. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, the OG ones anyway. Okay, so the just the OG ones. My friend from the Taiwan server wanted to see how the JP server is, so he is aware of what to expect in the future since Taiwan server just hit the make a new track scenario. Oh, they're not that far behind they're just literally they're, i'm assume oh, what was that they're gonna get grand live and then they're just like one behind two behind he also said he prefers grandmasters after seeing my first go at it i think i'm just bumbling around right now since a lot of things are new for me um i actually did like making you track a lot only because of the like freedom of schedule but that's just me but I do like Grandmasters as well. I spent a lot of the, I spent a lot during the first year of this game, but now I'm just free to play. Oh, so you did spend on this game. So that's probably why you had your OG ones at five star, I would say. Uh, my gotcha list is already at six, so I need to remain sane. <laughs> Last but not least, I'll give the new Measure of Palmer speed card a look. I mean, I would like more speedrunner cards in general since I always like runner umas. We'll have to see if that is worth or not, though. Yeah, a lot of the umas that I do like are normally either runners or leaders, but I do like a handful of uh, the other positions, the betweeners and um, chasers. So, <laughs> oh, so that makes sense. You you are missing out on a lot of cards, so probably if you do want to pull on some on the cards to get your to take ah to uh, test your chances or take your chances on trying to get some of the past good cards, then that's all you, my dude. That's all you. Second comment from Echo: I would never recommend to run a race that is not suited for the Uma's track training. If you train for short distance, run only short distance races, even if it's a pre-open race. Are we talking if? Talking about like and make a new track or like because it would be pretty hard to do that if we're doing that if it's not make a new track uh, just 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 to clarify because if obviously if I want to run uh, let's say like Suzuka for example if I'm doing Grandmasters I guess or even a Haruka uh, she has like mile distance maybe I think she has like one medium distance. I'm not too sure. I don't remember her schedule. But you want to run short distances. Those would be kind of mixed. So are you are we just specifically talking about short distance? I mean, make a new track if we're training. Because if that's what you meant, then I do understand that. Uh, so I have a good Ruby Bakushin. Yes, I managed to get a great one this time. Not UF yet, though. You eventually you eventually get it. Anaguri. With the new event card, I'll try to make runner Bakushin. Who knows? Maybe she'll be good. And I need to work on Fuji Kaseki, her ballroom version, and Helios. As I said before, I don't want to pull. I can do 15 pulls, but who knows when they'll add Ramane or Ramano or Daring Tag. Very true. Very true. I feel like. Hmm. I feel like since they've been really releasing like new like Umas, um, like Wonder Acute and all of them, I feel like Daring Tech has a good chance of being in the game sometime soon. Mezro Ramano, maybe. I don't know when they would add her, but there is a chance since they had already introduced her in the game through a support card uh but better be sa safe than sorry am i right true 
True. New event card is great for Silent Suzuka. It's a runner gold skill. It gives speed if you are in the lead in the middle of the leg. That would make sense. That would be really good. Thank you for the comment, Echo and Nova Boy. And one more comment from Eugene. The results I got from the last day banner of Marvelous Sunday came up with good results. First with 10 free Uma tickets and got Measure McQueen. Then on the 7th, 10, 7th 10 sets, so your 7th um, 10 pull, Marvelous Sunday appeared. So 70, 70 pulls from using your jewels and 10 free. It's not that bad. 80 pulls. So now I still have 22 k free jewels left at my disposal and probably good until 2.5 1500 per right and you had and you still have 22k so if it's 1500 per poll and you did that seven times so you only spent like 10 and a half k huh you have so you had 30 32k before pulling that's crazy <laughs> you've been saving that's crazy after looking on the next release banner the costumes were were really good and i'm only interested on bamboo memory because i don't have her and short distance aptitude but i decided to skip because it's not on my want list and proceed to marvelous sunday gotcha i assume you would um not pull since you were going for marvelous sunday uh but I, for one hand, do have Bamboo Memory, but I don't have her leveled up. Right? Should have her. She should be... Yeah, right there. Actually, let's see what level I can bring her to. This level 4. But yeah. And then, I like using red because for me... Oh, I guess we're talking about the buffs. I like using red be because for me, best in the the junior classic year but i want yellow when it comes to senior year because the training level that time is around level four level five which gives a huge boost when during friendship training yeah, i could see that in the beginning it feels it's i feel like it is better to get red uh just for like motivation slash energy and since it changes the training to level five so it does help out a lot in the beginning whereas if I if you do get yellow in the beginning, it's not too bad. It's just you're not getting at it at its best. But yeah, red level five because I think the gold skill is good for runners and leaders since good for runners and leaders, and yellow for the backliners since it activates on final leg, which is really good when skills connect very nicely and will catch up to the front. I actually haven't even haven't really picked out the the skills from any of the goddesses for any of them. Uh, I believe I believe I was told about yellow for chasers a while ago. I think when I was just starting to train Mr. CB, uh, but I didn't know about red for Kita. I'm not sure, or like I just noticed how I only said Kita, but for runners and leaders. Uh, but so maybe I'll give that a shot now. Now that I know, normally I don't even pick it because. I want to pick the other skills that I have already, but thank you for the comment, Eugen. And of course, to Echo and Noble Boy. Ah, all right. Uh, now that we are done with that, we can go on to the banner. Just make sure I got the thing here. So this one I want this hey okay. all right so we have Tosin, summer Tosin jordan and summer bamboo memory here so we'll first go over oh i came out i was sorry about that uh Tosin jordan so at level 1, 97 speed, 84 stamina, 99 power, 86 guts, and 84 wise. At level 5, 119 speed, 102 stamina, 121 power, 105 guts, and 103 wise. Her growth rate is 8% on both stamina and speed, and power having 14%. 
for her aptitudes turf runner um for distance long distance and medium distance well long distance if you want to bring it up to an a and i believe she's a betweener but she you can run her as a leader and a betweener for her unique skill gal gal member i would just say gal member because gal mem if you're in the middle of the pack halfway through the race your speed will increase bonus speed if you're fully motivated okay so her her bonus is not based off the distance not like most of the others or not like the others just based off her motivation for her innate skills we have um rising passion for medium long distance if you're in the middle of the pack during the first half of the final leg your speed will slightly increase then we have one chance for medium distance during the final or during the first half of the final leg if you're not in the front your acceleration will slightly increase um fearless heart for betweeners if you're in the middle of the pack during the second half of the race your speed and acceleration will slightly increase onto her awakening skills we have light step for medium distance beyond the first 10 seconds of the race if you move right or left your stamina will slightly recover at level three we have rise from the ashes for medium distance during the first half of the final leg if you're not in the front your acceleration will increase then we have underdog for level four become a little better at showing off your ability when fourth favorite or below and then at level five we have daredevil for betweeners if you're in the middle of the pack during the second half of the race your speed and acceleration will increase and then we do have her evolution skills um which one is this one i think it was this one yes so from rise from the ashes uh, i don't know if the translations of this will be correct um i'm not gonna try <laughs> uh but the conditions for this one is have at least 800 power or get at least two skills for medium aptitude for the first condition on the second condition have at least 800 speed or 600 stamina pretty easy conditions and let me see if there's a difference in okay so for this one medium distance at a random point during the final corner if you're not in the front your acceleration will increase in tokyo your, your speed will also slightly increase so if you're in the tokyo race course it will also increase your speed that's pretty cool it's pretty cool and then from daredevil it goes into only i can win um for the three conditions the first one get at least two skills for between between her aptitude for the second condition get at least three speed type skills and for the last condition get at least two acceleration type skills and like the i'll just say the whole thing the description is for betweeners at a random point during the final corner if you're in the middle of the pack your speed will increase in medium races in tokyo your acceleration will also slightly increase so this one is specifically medium distance races in tokyo and then skills from events can we see them here i don't know Hey, we can we can we have betweeners corners slightly increases speed on corners for betweeners and uh, tumbling forward in medium distance if you're in the second half of the pack at a random point during the middle leg your speed will slightly increase there's two more over here that's not that i can't show in the game because i don't know i can't click anything else straight acceleration at a random point on a random straight your acceleration will slightly increase and hard worker for betweener passing becomes slightly easier to succeed and that is pretty much it for tosin gordon okay now we have bamboo memory let me just hit it up right now All right, so Bamboo Memory at level 1, 110 speed, 64 stamina, 108 power, 
84 guts and 84 wise. At level 5, 134 speed, 79 stamina, 133 power, 102 guts, and 102 wise. Um, her growth rate 14% on speed, 8% on power and guts. As for her aptitudes, A on turf, but she does have a D on dirt, so you can use it for dirt if you bring up her aptitude. Um, distance, short and mild distance at A, medium distance at C, so if you want to use her at medium distance, um, just bring her up through inheritance. And her strategy seems she is a betweener, but... She does have a chaser at a uh, chaser at sea, so if you want to use her as a chaser, you you may choose to do so yourself. <laughs> if you want to, of course. If you want to, of course. As for her unique skill, we have Mystery Everlasting Summer Burning. If you're in the first half of the pack but not in the lead, with 200 meters remaining, your speed will increase. Bonus speed if the race is short and you've overtaken someone since entering the final leg. Oh, okay, so yeah, so if it's the last 200 meters, you, as a betweener, you should at least be somewhere around in the first half of the pack. At least you should be. And bonus speed if it's short distance and you've overtaken someone since entering the final leg, which it's highly, I like, highly likely. Uh, going on to her innate skills, short distance corners, uh, slightly increased speed on sh corners for short distance between the lines for betweeners. During the first half of the final leg, if you're not in the front, your acceleration will slightly increase. Sprinting gear, short distance. At a random point during the final leg, your acceleration will slightly increase. Onto the awakening skills, we have Fearless Heart for Betweener. If you're in the middle of the pack during the second half of the race, your speed and acceleration will slightly increase. Level 3, we have Switch Up Pro. Switch Up Pro. For Betweeners, during the first half of the final leg, if you're not in the front, your acceleration will increase. At level 4, we have Slight Detour. Um, when blocked during the last spurt, Become slightly better at navigating through it. And at level 5, we have Sprint Turbo for short distance. At a random point during the final leg, your acceleration will increase. Um, then, for... What is this? Switch up Pro. Would that be this one? So for the evolution skills, we have Switch Up Pro into Hot-Blooded Evolution Riding. Uh, condition number one, have at least 800 speed or get at least two skills for between our aptitude. Condition two, get at least two acceleration type skills. And um, during the first half of the final leg, if you're not in the front, your acceleration will increase. Then when there's 200 meters remaining in the race, your speed will slightly increase. So that kind of goes hand in hand with her unique with the 200 meters, which is pretty cool. Um, for the next one, it is Sprint Turbo. Let me just go to that real quick. Sprint Turbo into a Killer Explosive Spirit. Um, I think I should have just went for the description at first, but so I'll do that now. Uh, short distance at a random point during the final leg, your acceleration will increase. Then when there's 200 meters remaining in the race, your speed will slightly increase. Okay. So both her skills brings up acceleration. At the And then if it's the last 200 meters, not only do you get acceleration, you get speed. That goes hand in hand with your unique. That is actually pretty darn good. Interesting. Interesting. So the conditions are... Uh, condition one, get at least two skills for short aptitude or get at least three speed types. Condition two, at least 800 power. Condition three, at least 600 guts. And then for her skills from events, we have 
outside pass ready. No, this is not outside pass ready. Which one is this? Ooh. What skill is this? I don't see the skill. Yeah. Quick second, guys. Let me see if I could find it. Real quick. Um. Okay, conditions. Betweeners. I think this is full throttle. Yeah, full throttle for betweeners. At a random point during the middle leg, use a little extra stamina to increase your speed. And we have is this outside pass ready. Yeah, this one is outside pass ready. For betweeners, slightly increases speed when overtaking from the outside on the final corner. The other one is eyes on you. Become a little better at showing off your ability when sharing a strategy with the crowd. Favorite. Uh, let me take a quick peek at the cards. I believe it's Gold City and Metro Palmer. Mm, guts card for Gold City, huh? Uh, not too bad. Big of fan of guts. <laughs> As you guys already know, I don't really have that many guts cards either, so it kind of just makes me wonder. Mm, let me see. Come better at summer races. Okay, so Gold City is pretty much a good guts card if you want more support for mile distances, what it looks like, and if you want, like, um, the summer buff. Then Measure Palmer is a speed card. Long distance runner, long distance, long distance. Runner straight, runner, runner, groundwork, long distance. Okay. Oh, she has bad track condition as well. Okay. Um, let me go over at least Measure Palmer's real quick so at level 50 we have a unique effect of gain speed bonus one for every recovery skill up to three for three skills uh friendship bonus 35 percent starting bond up 30 hint level bonus level three hint rate up 50 percent specialty rate up 80 motivation bonus 20 percent skill point bonus one Initial speed up 25. Excuse me, I don't know what's happening. Race bonus of 10% and fan count bonus of 15%. As for the skills, we have deep breaths for long distance at a random point during the middle leg. Your stamina will slightly recover. Oh, that would be <laughs> this one. Sorry about that, guys. Leave it to vigor for runners. During any uphill beyond the first 10 seconds of the race, your stamina will slightly recover. Clever corner, which I believe is this one. Your speed will slightly increase on a random corner. Long distance straights. Slightly increase speed on straights for long distance. Long distance corners. Slightly increase speed. Increases speed on corners for long distance. Runner straights. Um, slightly increases speed on straights for runners. And then we have playtime's over. Slightly increased speed when a girl has been following you for a while. Frantic state for runners. During the first half of the middle leg, use some stamina to increase your speed. Uh, groundwork. Groundwork. Slightly increased acceleration when many skills are activated during the opening leg. Uh, what was the skill that I was missing? There's one more. That would be this one. Uh, vibes rises or vibes rise for long distance at a random point during the middle leg. Your speed will slightly increase and your stamina will marginally recover. And then skills from events. We have bad track condition become a little better on tracks and slightly heavy. Heavy or bad condition. Uh, Bucci age vibes for long distance. At a random point during the middle leg, your speed will increase and your stamina will slightly recover. And I think this is the same one. Yeah, this is the same one. So you have two chances to get that skill. 
So I guess if you want long distance and runner support, this would be a good card to get. And that is pretty much it for the banners. Now, as I promise, or like I promise, I will do one pull, which will send me back down to the 9,000s. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I just want to get one pull out there for you guys, at least. And then we'll go over the event, and then we'll be good. <laughs> a long shot it is. You never know. You never know. So we're just going to go one by one, since this is going to be the only pull I'll be doing. Aru Urura, Sakura Bakushino, uh, Tannhauser, Super Creek, uh, Fuku, Ryan, Ice Nature, Ryan, Fuku, and Vodka. That's pretty much it. I will not do any more pulls. <laughs> I will not do any more pulls. I'm just going to keep it that way. And here we go. Let me just skip this. And uh, let me get the... The missions out here. So, obviously, for event point bonuses, you would want to use Toast and Jordan, Bamboo Memory, Gold City, because she is one of the support cards, and then Mesro Palmer and Daitaku Helios as well. And then for supports, it is pretty much the same. If you use any of those character cards, you'll be getting a bonus as well. Uh, for daily missions, when any race once during training, participate in a team stadium match once, log in once, and clear all daily missions. Uh, I believe this is if you just finish all the one-time missions and then one-time missions as always i'll just be saying the total of what you have to do so complete a training run 12 times win any race 60 times during training win 40 g1 races during the training gather a total of 2 million fans during the event i think i'm behind am i behind yeah i'm kind of behind we're still 2 million right there uh, participate in Team Stadium match 40 times. Reach a cumulative score of 3 million during the Team Stadium matches. Get at least third in the Takam <laughs> Takamatsu no Miya Inen once during training. At least third in Hopeful Stakes. Third in Sprinter Stakes. Third in Tenosho Fall. Third in Yasuda Kinen. Third in the Japan Cup. And third in the Takaraza Kinen. And that's pretty much it. Lastly, I think all we have to do is go over the Daitaku Helios card and we shall be good for this video, guys. Uh, 400k. As always, if you want all the cards, get the 400k. You'll get the fourth um, card here. The first three, oh, you'll get from the, the roulette. Let me check something real quick. Okay, so it's a wise card. Nice, nice. A Daitaku Helios. Unique effect. Lose this at level 50. Gain specialty rate up 40 when the bond gauge is at least 80. 15% friendship bonus. 50% motivation bonus. 35 wisdom up. Initial wisdom up. 5 wisdom training recovery up. Starting bond up 25. Race bonus 5%. Plan count 15%, wisdom bonus 1, increased training 5%, 35 specialty rate up, speed bonus 1, hint level bonus level 3, and hint rate up 40%. And on to her skills, we have... Summer Girl, become a little better at races in the summer. Good track condition, become a little better on tracks in good condition. And sunny days, become a little better at races on sunny days. We have short distance corners, which is pretty good because it is a short distance um, League of Heroes. Short distance uh, slightly increases speed on corners. We have mile corners. Slightly increases speed on corners for miles. Uh, slipstream, if another girl has been right in front of you for at least three seconds, your speed will slightly increase. Nimble step for short distance. If you're in the front half of the pack, during the second half of the middle leg, your speed will sh slightly increase. I was going to say slightly. 
Uh, and then, randomly, a leader skill. Is that random? I don't know if that's random. <laughs> but, uh, slightly narrows the field of view of girls in the back when in front of the final leg. Skills from events. We have sympathy. Increases ability. Is this sympathy? No, this is underdog. Become a little better at showing off your ability when fourth, favorite, or below. Sympathy increases ability a little if there are many girls with sympathetic heart. And lastly, overwhelming lead for short distance. Easier to keep the lead if you lead with a big margin in the middle leg, which will be quite helpful. So this is sad because I do have Suzuka and I do have Bakashino. Um, If I do want to get overwhelming lead and that setup, it'll be sad if I get a really good setup before I get 400k <laughs> so I can get all this card in there uh but I think we'll be good I think that'll be good but I guess for now it still doesn't matter because I'm still just getting ready for all that as you guys can see I'm still training I didn't finish my runs for the day yet I believe I'm still on my second one so I have a few hours until reset uh let's just take a look at Sakura Bakashino here I have 25, so it's almost there. It's almost there. I can get her to level 5 soon. So most likely, by tomorrow's video, I should have her at level 5. And we can take her, I guess, training a little bit more seriously. But I do still have an issue with my parents uh, for inheritance when it comes to, like, white factors and all that. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm still working on new parents, but... Um, the Taiki shuttle that I trained and make a new track, uh, did not get an S, not an S, did not get a red factor or pink factor in short distance. So that doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't help at all, but it is what it is. And I think that is pretty much for this video, guys. If you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you if you guys can. Leave a like and let me know down in the comments if, well, I pretty much know what you guys are doing. Well, at least three of you. Uh, I guess Eugen and Echo, you guys aren't pulling. I did one pull just to <laughs> see if I'll get lucky. And Nova Boy, I think you were more interested in the support cards this time around. Uh, but if I was going to say, if you're going to pull, I think Bamboo Memory is definitely the better option. At least that's what I think. Along with the others, they said Bamboo Memory was also the best out of the two. But for the others, let me know if you guys did go for the banner yourselves. Uh, let me know if you guys pulled or not. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So with that being said, guys, if you guys are pulling, good luck. But thank you once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. どうせ君だよ。